Guys, welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast. Before we get into today's great episode, we want to talk to you about dad grass. I love CBD, love pre-rolled joints. Angus, you do too. Yep. I know you do. It's I so love great. them. Right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash almost Friday. That's dadgrass.com slash almost Friday for 20% off on your first order. That's a great deal. And one more time, that's dadgrass.com slash almost Friday. All right, let's get into today's episode. Now we're in it and we're here and we're doing it and we're on the podcast. Welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast. Guys, it's Will, it's Liam. We're going to, uh, I don't want to be here. Liam. You, I don't. What is that noise? It's a tr- it's a train in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's a snow piercer train just passed by. Mm. It's rattling the whole building. Think about how warm it would be if you were just in Earth's crust right now. If you were just underneath the ground, wearing it like a blanket, like a little worm. It'd be like a weighted. Bl- <laughs> I think a little earthworm burrowing through. Yeah. Now that's just some of the the kooky little side banter we're going to be getting into. Um, here's the thing. I can hear every sound. I feel like, um, when I'm in this podcast room, it's so poorly soundproofed. I feel like daredevil. Like I, I feel like I, I know exactly who's standing where in this office. Yeah. There's like a thousand square feet or something. Just what's it's gotta it be bigger it? than that. Right. Bigger sonar. I you just heard, I just sonar? heard Dan put his fork into his noodles. Oh my downstairs. God. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, so Emily, maybe we need to work on that. Yeah, maybe we figure that out. Sooner. We're actually in the process of putting some sound tiles. As you can see, they all fell off of that one wall, so we're getting some new ones. I was wondering what happened over there. Yeah, that looks interesting. Here's the thing. We have over 150 weekly listeners. I think we can afford in the budget Yeah. to fix this room up. There's a lot of people listening to this podcast, okay? Who do you think listens to this? Al Gore. He's a big fan. Al Gore's brother. I don't know much about him. That's at least two right there. There's a man made out of tin. <laughs> there's a there's a man made out of aluminum cans. We got the bee guy watches us. The bee guy watches us. Liver King, the guy that supplies him his PEDs, yep. watches us. There's just an old wooden, it's not really wooden, but like the legs, there's a wooden spine going through it, but it's a scarecrow. And mm-hmm. they, they set that up in front of uh, one of those old big computers oh yeah a lot yeah that so i bought a latvian bot farm to kind of farm some views for us to you know kind of help out with the numbers yeah that's part of it hmm. yeah um now that's all a joke that's and hey guys we're poking fun you know it's it's something we do i would like to hire someone to come in here and shove their fucking elbow up my ass and work me like a puppet so oh. so i don't have to do this podcast right now yeah it's okay, Emily. We could go to. I'll yes. give you. I'll give you a bonus. You want to come in here? Mm. Yeah. For Work a while. me like a puppet. Do this pod for me. Sure, I would love to. What mm. if I just? What if I tied you up with the rope all the way around your body? Okay. And it's really tight, like a boa constrictor. Yes, with a rope. Mm-hmm. How would that feel safe? Oh, actually, I feel like that oddly would feel. Uh, there's a race car there's driving by. Race car by. driving there's by. A race car driving by our office. All right, so um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. How Let's was do, it? Fuck it. I, I don't fucking care. Let's do a character. Well, I care. I don't, dude. Nothing happened. I, I nothing. wanted to talk about my Thanksgiving. I don't care. I had the flu the entire time, and it was one of the worst weeks of my life. Good. All right, let's let's do, let's do some characters. Yeah, guys, we have a weekly segment. We want to run through some characters, show you guys the you know just a little bit of uh, how the sausage is made, and yeah, we're gonna pitch each other some characters. Liam, do you want to kick us off? Um. Yes. And and make sure you watch till the end because Emily's got a character she's pitching today. She and Whitney workshopped it. Wait, will you? Is that true? Yeah. Oh, nice. No, I'm actually <laughs> really excited to hear it. Will you actually start? I actually have a couple, yeah. but we're only, we're only going to do one today. <laughs> <laughs> I felt I just felt electricity <sighs> in my bones when yeah. she. <laughs> I have oh, a man. couple. I, felt, I have a couple. I, have a couple. <laughs> I felt I felt the uh, my femur bone uh, splinter and fracture. No, it does. It, it's no, you're you're a good guy. Um, <laughs> you're one of my good friends. All right, you go. Yeah, these are <laughs> these are really bad. I'm not going to start off very strong. Okay, that's okay. I'm your roommate, and you think that I'm turning into a lizard, and you come into the room <laughs> to confront me. All right, ready. And this one, guys. Sorry, this one's more of a visual one. Is it'll be it'll be pretty quick. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, what's up, man? 
Sorry, Liam, I borrowed your lamp. That's okay. It feels quite warm sitting underneath it. What are you doing there with your tongue? That's it. That's the whole character. That's good. I like it. He sits under a heat lamp. I'm going to kill myself with an actual gun on the podcast. <laughs> Dude, that's okay, too. Uh, can you find out if um, Lockheed Martin will send us some weapons, Emily, and I will kill myself on the podcast with one of their guns? Mm-hmm. That's I, good. I will not do that. Um, Useless. How did they become a lizard? Huh? How did you their, your character become a lizard? Is he becoming a lizard, or is he a lizard... He stopped taking his uh, Zoloft and antipsychotics. Ooh. He's not actually a lizard. Oh. Yeah, kind of a yeah. What a dark twist you didn't expect. No, I didn't. I and like that's it, just kind of my edgy humor coming out a little bit. It's pretty good. Do you have a character? Um, yes. You have to hurry because that one was so. I, no, I enjoyed sad. that. No, I enjoyed that one. Um, I'm also this is also a roommate one, so I'll just do that. Uh, like that. I'm your roommate, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm your roommate. Just ask me. Where you where we want to go out to eat tonight? Just be like, where do you want to go eat? Yo, Liam, um, want to grab some food tonight? Yeah. Where do you where do you want to go? Um, we could go make some mud in my backyard and just eat that. <laughs> so it's stupid. the ground's pretty dry right now, but if we put the hose on the dirt for a little bit and just we just scooped up, we're, <laughs> if we raked up the mud with our hands, and then I could just sort of like a just eat the mud. <laughs> but I don't wherever you want to go. Uh, that's it <laughs> that's one of my favorite bits is eating uh, mud oh wait no there's more to it uh, oh, okay uh, sorry um, shit uh, yeah I, I, I made some notes for it um, okay wait here so we'll, we'll we'll jump right back in yeah yeah no okay where do you actually want to go to eat though well if you don't want to eat the mud there's um there's a rusty basketball hoop in the cul-de-sac we could just go lick that we just made I don't lick it up and down I lick the rusty basketball hoop in the cul-de-sac <laughs> So, I don't even know how to like. I don't know how to like like respond. You don't have to. That's it. Oh, dude. Yeah, this is this is. I'm feeling suicidal today, man. <laughs> I feel so sad. I hope it's coming across. Yeah. All right, this is a guy who can't do finger guns. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> it's so bad. Do it. I'm just powering through these because they're all so terrible. Do it anyways. All right, man. I'll see you later. Later, bro. Hey, good running into you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's great. That's really good. <laughs> you want to do it again? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man. You see the new car? Yeah. Looks, it looks good. Hey, maybe maybe I'll let you take it for a spin later. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. I hope so. <laughs> good running into you, man. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, Fuck. so tutorial for the Fuck. for the listeners. All you have to do is you point all of your fingers at them at the same time. So it's it kind of looks like you're you're like reaching out. It's shoot. It's like you're shooting lightning at them, and then yeah. you screech like a pterodactyl. Oh, that's uh, that's, that's top. it. That's, <laughs> that's top drawer stuff, dude. That's great. It's Fuck, so that's bad. So, oh, it's so good. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> that like got me tired. That's how good that is. I'm glad we needed. Uh, we needed to get in there. Um, we need to get in there. I'll do one that's really bad. I'm a guy who's never seen a crab. Okay. <laughs> I don't exactly have a, a place to go with it but, so like, but like let's just say we're at the beach together you spot a crab be like oh a crab okay and this is a guy right. who's never seen a crab in his life okay oh look at that you see that crab right there he just he's just burrowed out of the sand what right there what is that Dude, dude, no, fuck it, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 we're good. It, it's... <laughs> Wait, this reminds me. Like, can I do one? This is yeah. a TikTok I saw. I don't remember the guy who made it. I'm not taking credit for it, but go look it up on TikTok. I want to do this character for you. It makes me laugh so hard. Okay. Wait, this is a guy who like doesn't know what airplanes are. Have you seen this one? No. Okay, I didn't make this up, dude. I heard you got the role in the play. Yes. Yes, dude. When when is the uh, when's the final production? Couple months, I think. Yeah. Couple months, yeah. dude. I'll be there. I I would love if you ever need any help practicing. I'd love to sit down and read some lines with you. That'd be great. Really appreciate that. I always knew it. I told my mom 
when we were growing up, because you remember you did the the Tin Man in the Wizard, Wizard of Oz. Oz yeah. I told my mom, I was like, if he's stuck to this, he could actually be something. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, That's... no, I'm just, I'm really happy for you. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, do you know what's up with those giant metal birds that have been <laughs> screaming in the sky? It's like deafening. <laughs> it's the loudest noise I've ever heard. A plane? The planes. The birds. <laughs> Oh fuck! That's, it. That's good. I like it. I know. Dude, go look that. It's one of my favorite TikToks ever. Yeah, you should also know for the listeners uh, when me and Angus were sitting in our little office space, about ten to twenty crows just pulled up on. <laughs> yes. We have a glass ceiling, a like roof, so you can see out, and the crows just started tapping and and hitting it with their beaks. Fifteen crows. <laughs> I don't know. Now it seems like an omen. You know, it's so funny because like. They, you can hear they're like. Well, it's cute. It's cute. You look up and you just see like like their webbed feet. They don't have webbed feet. No, those are ducks. <laughs> those have, are ducks. They have talons. You just hear them tip tapping all over, and it was a bad omen. It was. Oh, excuse me. Oh God. Um, and it's an omen because how is this podcast going? We should have expected that. All right, you give us another one. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm your shady cousin at Thanksgiving. And you just went to the bathroom and realized all the pain pills are missing from your cabinet. You don't want to call me out, but you're kind of questioning me at lunch, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so, how are you feeling? I'm tired. Yeah. Is, is everything else? Hey, Liam. What? I want to hold the baby. Um... Everyone got to hold the baby, and then when it got to my turn, you said, I think she's feeling tired, and you went to put her away. Well, we had to put her down. It's it's my turn to hold the baby. I could... I No, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, I know you went to my medicine cabinet, and you took all my fucking p- pills. So, if you want to give me the pills back, and I'm... How about this? I'll make you a deal. Okay. You don't say anything about the pills, and I give you the baby back. You don't have the baby. Go check her crib. What See, that's, that's the whole character. No, it's good. It, no, it's not. It's terrible. No, I got distracted because Emily Dan, cut that one. Dan walked by, so I got distracted. Emily, if anyone walks by, shoot them with a fucking gun. I want to give Emily like a the largest fly swatter ever made. That would be so much fun. Yeah, literally bare arms. Go. What's your next? Uh, this one's gonna be so bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, uh, this is the one I told you in the room. You think I should skip it or? I'll just do it. It's the guy that doesn't trust furniture. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to hear this one. So just literally start telling me about your day. Um. Yeah. Do here. Sit down. Um. I made you some tea. Uh. I had the craziest day. What happened? So I was driving to work and this guy cut me off. And uh, oh, is it uneven? No, keep going. It's good. Oh, <clears throat> so this guy cut me off, and I didn't think anything of it. And oop, what are you doing there? Oops, you're picking at the. Uh... Just keep telling. Just keep. Go ahead. No, I. Oh, I'm sorry. I just is ever 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 is everything okay? Because you keep. Are you all right? I don't trust whoa, 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 Liam. Just having a hard time trusting any of this. <laughs> I suck. I should do sales. I suck. You should be selling elevators. <laughs> I really should, dude. I should be doing. No, something. the best, the best characters are the ones when you have to like say what's happening. <laughs> like, I was fucked up. I, I, was, I think I was fucked up when I wrote that. Honestly, or I can't I put that in for anything for it. Wait, <laughs> yeah. let me let me clear the air of that that horrible one with okay, one more. This is good. Um, okay, this one's gonna be fun. This one's got a, a song to it. So you and I mm-hmm. are, <laughs> um. Uh, you and I are at a our best friend's funeral. He died in a car accident. It's very sad. Uh, okay. Our best friend. We don't know each other that well, but we have the... Like I was have... his college friend. You were the best high school friend. Exactly. Um, and his casket is this table in front of us. So just okay. f- even for the listeners, me and Angus are two high school best friends. And right in front of us is a casket being lowered into his grave. Okay. And uh, someone uh, starts playing the song that he chose... To have lowered into his casket. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Are we supposed to have lines? You're at a funeral. <laughs> the casket's being slowly lowered down. It's taking forever to lower into the ground. How'd you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys go to college together? Why wasn't he wearing a seatbelt? He always wears a seatbelt. <laughs> I suspect foul play. <laughs> I was in the car with him, actually. <laughs> this is crazy. All uh, right, yeah. How, how did you... I don't even want to know how you thought of that. Uh, I just... I was like... How did you... With like, that, that kooky brain of yours. I know. I just wanted to do something with the song, Sail by AWOL Nation. Um, that was very good. Did you hear what happened to those guys that made that song? No. All all dead. How? They went in front of like a government building uh, and lit themselves on fire in front of like a fucking... It wasn't even a government building. It was just like... It technically was. It was just a post office. They thought it was an important building or something. Are you joking? Dead serious. It was uh, to protest something. I don't know what it was. But the guys that made sale, yeah, lit themselves on fire in front of a post office. And like... This was recent. This was probably 2020. Look it up. No, I remember reading that a guy burned himself. Up. This is one of your things. <laughs> yes, it, it is. You're trying to get a viral clip out of me. No, dude. no, no. Are yeah, you, you are. I, I swear to fucking God, the guys I'm, that made I'm too smart. the song Sail did that. <laughs> I'm not even going to look it up. Look it up. Emily, look it up. The guys from no. AWOL Nation lit themselves in, in a fire, no. on fire in front of a fucking thing. Emily, don't fall for his schemes. You're smarter than that. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm sure they're doing all right. <laughs> you had me for a second. I, how? How did I? Yeah, I'm surprised I one got you. But, you. but you do it all the time. I know. That's why I'm surprised I got you. No, that no, was, but you, you filter in too many real things. But I make it, uh, the ones I do are believable. Like when I told you Angelina Jolie died. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, I believe that one. Yeah. Me and Will were in, a, where were we, Wisconsin? We were in a hotel. This isn't that cool of a story. I think it's great, and I'm going to tell it. <laughs> uh, and I convinced him that Angelina Jolie had died. Uh, and for how long? 10 minutes. Yeah. It was awesome though. He was just <laughs> it's like, not that good of a story. <laughs> just watching him. This is how it went. You want to reenact it? Yeah. Tell me. I walk out of the bathroom. I walk out of the shower. I thought of it in the shower. Fucking Angelina Jolie died. Holy shit. Oh, really? Yeah. She died. Wow. How old was she? 109. Wow. You were you were more excited about that. No, I wasn't. That is exactly how I reacted. You're a liar. For the record, I fully believed it. Yeah, you were upset, dude. You mm. you were like, I, gotta... <laughs> I think I think I remember being like, that's so weird. I think uh, she just finished up some movie. No, you were like, it. I gotta call my dad and all this. Stuff. <laughs> he's he's a big A Joe fan, dude. All right, I have a character. Yeah, please. Chudley Griggs. I'm your overgrown twelve year old son. So like nine feet tall. <laughs> That lives in the basement, and I don't know much about the outside world. And you come in, you open the basement door. My, what's my relationship? You're my mom. Okay. And you keep me in here. Chudley! Hi, mama. Chudley Griggs, you get your ass upstairs right now. You're going to have to unchain me, mama. You unchain yourself, Chudley Griggs. I taught you how. Hey, mama. What? Why do all the boys at school make fun of me? Because you're a little bit bigger, Chudley. You're... Hey, Mama. <laughs> I had the funniest dream last night <laughs> that you let me outside. I knew I was dreaming because I didn't have any of my cuffs on. Chudley, you knock off all this imagination nonsense and you come upstairs and you wash your dishes. Hi, hey, Mama. What, Chudley? I'm sorry I killed Daddy. I didn't mean to hug him too hard. Chudley, I told you not to talk about that. That's why we keep you all in the basement now. And that's Chudley Griggs. And that's Chudley Griggs. I like it. He's, uh, is, is he cousins with... Uh, who's the other guy? No, that was great. I love Chudley. Oh, Emily, Emily, do your character. Yeah, you wait, do you actually have one? Emily, I actually do. I have a few, I'm but I'm only going to do one. I'm so sorry. You're going to do two. Okay, well, I have two, but the one, the other one I can't really act out. I could just tell you the name. And, like, what what is... Is this the one you did with Whitney? Yes. All right, let's hear it. Okay. We can we can act it out, but his name's Francis Footwork, and he is a guy who is afraid of the stairs, and he'll do anything to avoid them. <laughs> That's so, so good, awesome. That's so great. Yeah, I have to act it out. Okay, so pretend like we're having having a meeting upstairs, and you want me to come up. Okay. 
like we're about to have a meeting and you're like hey hey, f- hey francis we're actually gonna uh we're all gonna meet upstairs so oh hey oh um wait but i uh i, I booked the conference room down here no, nah, we're all, all already up here, so yeah, oh. that's not gonna fit everyone. We have like twenty people. No, no, coming. no, it will. I, I, I put, I, I, I put extra chairs in there. I, 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 I we're meeting upstairs, no, Francis. I, no, 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 guys, guys, guys. I set it up down here. It's really great. We just, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's such a good character. I, li- I like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Francis, Emily, Fuller you're two for you're two for two. I that's yeah. That. That's that's excellent. <laughs> Very. Thank excellent. you. Thank you. Thank okay. You. What's your next? Actually. Should we save it for next week? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can I can bring more to the table next week, okay, gentlemen. Good. All right, rip good. another one. Rip another one. Okay, I can't really act this one out, but his name is Gilbert Grains, and he loves to eat sand. <laughs> he loves to eat sand? All right, that's all you need to say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We don't need to act it out. <laughs> uh, give it, say, say it one more time, his name. Gilbert Grains. And his occupation? His occupation, he is a dumpster nope. driver, and he loves to eat sand. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know how he drives a dumpster, but <laughs> what do you mean by that? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like a garbage dumpster truck? Dumpster truck. Okay, yeah, driver. Yeah, got you. Garbage so he's, truck he's in a union. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah he's a union yeah. guy. He's local 223. We support him in his endeavors. Uh, uh, wow, those are both fucking awesome. Thank you, Emily, for putting a nice exclamation point on that segment. But what would you guys do oh, without me in my comedy? Do you, um, wait, do you, not, do you have any more characters? Um, I don't know why. Uh, I got... This isn't a character... But this is just uh, so imagine a book club and it's all women in their mid 40s mm-hmm. drinking wine. But instead of books, they're all holding ant terrariums. Okay. <laughs> just soak that in. That's it. That's There's no like we're not acting it out. But like it's just a, okay. a bunch of middle aged women at a book club. But instead of books, it's ant terrariums. You just you just weren't even trying. That didn't crack Emily at all. <laughs> Emily didn't like that one. You didn't like that one? I thought that was a banger. No? Okay, can I, I, I liked it. Can I, I, I laughed before you noticed. Could okay. I do a character I just came up with? Uh, yeah. Okay, we, it's um, 1863. We're in the heart of the Civil War. Mm-hmm. And I'm your doctor, and you just came back from uh, the uh, battle. Okay. And his name, his name is... Is... Baxter Blumenthal. Dr. Baxter Blumenthal. Hey, Doc. Hey, bud. How you feeling? Here, let's just sit up right here. Let's see. Uh, how how's uh, how things on the front line? Not good. No? Not good? No. All right. Looks good here. You having any symptoms? Um, I've had a cough for about a year. You've had a cough? Okay. Well, I think we'll just cut both your legs off then and cut your arms off. And um, I'm going to shove a bunch of mud inside your stomach. And that should probably do the trick and stop the bleeding. And I'm going to put you on a diet of uh, five pounds of sulfur a day. And that should help with some of the symptoms. I feel like I might die from this from this treatment. Did you not just listen to my prescription? You're going to be fine. Okay, thank you. I didn't go to med school. Science doesn't change. Sorry. Where did you go to med school? Deep in the South. That's the side I fight for. <clears throat> wah, wah, wah. Yeah, how fun would that be? That would be Emily, fun. play the sound effect. Dude, this episode's gonna go so viral, viral after we both uh, throw our bodies off the roof of this building right after. I'm gonna let those fucking crows on the roof of our office eat, pick my corpse pick clean. My flush. Um, um, I mean, even they, it's gonna the crows are gonna come, then the maggots, and then the airborne little particles. They're like the krill of the sky. <laughs> they're gonna f- flock over my body, and just I'll I'll be. Just dry bones on the roof. Dry bones. Dry bones. I'll serve as a warning sign to the big metal birds that fly over the sky. Mm. Mm. What would your rap name be? Skriddle. Skriddle? Mm-hmm. I came up with a really good one for me. Or Wangus. Wangus is good. All right, what's your rap name? Cold Case Color. That's awesome. How sick is that? It's actually <laughs> Cash. It's pretty nasty, yeah. I'm just fucking with that one. You know what sucks? I can't see Emily from my spot. Oh, you can't. So I can't have like fun. Like I, I can't. See, I can't know. give her a look like this whenever you say something dumb. I can't just go. 
We're working on that. I got a table for me to be in there with you. I know, but think of all the kooky looks we would share. We get to see her lovely smile. It'll, it'll save us a little bit. Save her health. Can you believe him? I'm saying nice things today. I'm being nice on this episode. You are being nice. Being Sometimes, great. yes, you gotta, you've got to take care of the hand that feeds you. That's exactly right. Is that the f- phrase? Yes. <laughs> um, you got to take care of the your uncle's hand that... Uh, slightly grazed the top of your asshole when no one was looking at that. And then today's the last day I'm alive. And let's check in with our good friend Rusty. Oh yes, okay. So uh, checking in with Rusty. Rusty. Checking in. Emily, play the jingle for Rusty. Play that jingle. <laughs> Who wrote that funky Freddy ballad? <clears throat> All right, how's he doing? Uh, let's see. All right, Rusty, how you doing? Oh. There you- Fucking somewhere else. All right, guys, it's Rusty. Um, it's finals week down here at school, so I'm cripplingly stressed out. I have, I'm drowning mm-hmm. in schoolwork. Um, I'm gonna go to the library here in a second. I've been putting it off. Um, I think He's it's holding gonna be a fine, beer. but I'm like to that point where I don't, I don't know oh, not if I'm gonna pass any of these classes. So hopefully that works out. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, Thank you. If you have any f- studying tips, send them my way. I love you, boys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Rusty. Looks um, good. Looks good. He, he looks great. He looks wildly different every time he sends one of these videos. His yeah. heart looks full. You look wonderful. Um, you did say you were about to go to the library, but I noticed I noticed a pesky little brew in front of you, kind of just hovering around your... Mm. Mm. What's, what's good stu- catch. What study tips do you have for our pal, Rusty? Um, so he wants to improve his grades. Yeah. Um, find out if your professor has any loved ones. Um, let's say they have a son. They're not, if you know, a son, a daughter, cousin, doesn't matter. Find out where they live. Go to their house. Give them a scare. Um, wear a very scary costume. Um, do a B&E into their home. Grab them. Kidnap them. Pull their teeth out. Send the teeth to the professor. Um, wear a tooth necklace to the next class. He'll start questioning himself. Now, I got a couple teeth in the mail. That guy's wearing a tooth necklace. I'm going to kill myself today. It's happening. You're, it's going to be your fault. You're scared. You can't do it. <laughs> I know you're too fucking scared, dude. All right, Rusty. Studying tips? I don't have any good ones. I would just go to the library, sit in the quiet section, feel qu- quietly, feel sad for eight hours, then I would start to study. Make sure you space out your panic attacks. You don't want to have two of them back to back. You want to have one right when you start to get your heart rate up, to get that adrenaline going, to kind of give you a boost in momentum to study. And then you kind of want to wait till 2 p.m., 3 p.m. to have your second panic attack because you're going to, that's what kind of when you get the midday lull where you go, I've been studying a while. and you Save it for, 2 p.m. That should carry you into about 6 p.m. Then you're going to want to go home at that point and take a break. That is a mistake. That is a huge mistake. You want to keep grinding. And these are the critical hours, critical mass, where you won't retain any of the information that you're learning, but it's important you keep pushing through. That's solid advice. And this is all the day before your final, Mm -hmm. that you haven't been to a single class. Did you cheat on stuff? In high school and college? Because you seem like a real straight arrow type. I didn't cheat on in college. I think in high school, I would, um, I would, we would like work on our homework together all the time. It's so like math homework. We would like do it together, which is cheating. I didn't really see it as cheating. You're a fucking dork. You friend, yeah. Your friends, you guys would hang out and do math homework. We wouldn't right? hang out and do math homework. You would. No, we had it's like Friday thir- nights, and there's a big party downtown. You guys weren't invited. We would have a study hall at the end of the day, and we would uh, work on our homework together. So we didn't have to. I had like three hours of homework a night in high school. What? Three to four hours every what? night. What? Yeah, my school was insane. I didn't have any for four years. It was horrible. I didn't have a life. That's fucking crazy. It was insane. Uh, one time. Uh, me and my buddy, uh, Tim, we were in pre-calc and we didn't want to do it ever. So every quiz and test for the entire school year, uh, there was this 
very nice woman and uh, our fellow classmate, and she let us cheat off her. It was like cool about it. And the days we would show up and there was a quiz or a test and she wasn't there, we would just get up and walk out of the class. Be like, I literally can't do this. And then on the last day of class, uh, we did a very nice thing where we got her a Dunkin' Donuts gift card. Oh, that's nice. Bought her a card and flowers and came in and bestowed them upon her. Mm-hmm. And uh, the teacher was very, he was like, I didn't care. He was like, I'm fine. That is funny. It was good. My favorite teachers were the ones that were like the really old priests. And if you just kind of ask them like, I don't know what this question is. They'd like just slowly unravel the answer to you because mm. they did. There was like a language barrier for some of them, and they wouldn't realize that they're just giving the answer away. It was like the very <laughs> these Hungarian men. They'd be like, "Okay, so what you, what you need to do? Look at me." Why were they Hungarian? Because they fled from Hungary during the. Um, Oh, I sound so uneducated. It was a group of Cistercian monks that fled from Hungary in like the 50s because they were having like some civil strife over there and they started the school, I intend. It was gay as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gayest story of all time. Um, They're actually all, it was like, most of them were like the coolest people ever. I bet I could beat the living fuck out of all of them. Oh, some of them, you could, you could breathe on them and their bones would explode. Yeah. Yeah, we had... The Catholic school I was at growing up, we had two nuns, uh, Fr- Sister Francis and Sister someone else. They would only co- they lived in like the attic of the school, and every time you saw them, it, it was the old woman from Chocolate in the wheelchair. <laughs> I'm not fucking bullshitting. That's what they both looked like. If either one of them is still alive today, I'll empty my bank account. And give it to them. That's, uh, those ladies have to be dead. Um, there's. Did you ever do this thing at uh, Catholic school where? They would have this, you know, open round table where you can just ask questions. It was like their new youth thing. They wanted people to be like, oh, we can ask questions. For like, just like once once a year, you'd have like an event? We'd have like a religion class. And there was a box that you could put your questions in. Oh, yeah. We would, yeah, sometimes. And all of ours were, why is anal sin? Mm-hmm. Anal doesn't seem like a sin. Yes. Anal seems like it's actually pretty Catholic. I don't think it's a sin. And then we would just, and none of us were having anal sex, you know. Uh, but we just thought it would be funny to really campaign to make anal sex not a sin. Get him to say anal. Yeah, yeah, and they would have to say anal a ton. Uh, and it was it, anal is one of those words that they were okay saying. You know, they were they were ripping it around. Mm-hmm. They're like it's anal time. We had some of those boxes where you would like put the random questions, but we would only do that once a semester. We would have a retreat where we would go to like some you know, religious, like, summer camp sort of place. You spend the night. Everyone tells a story about how their life was hard, and you all cry, and then they say God is good. Did you cry? I think for one of my buddies, he told, like, a pretty fucked up story, and I cried. What was his story? (laughs) No, it was, like, actually, like, real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not going to share that. Why? Because I don't give a fuck about any of these people listening, Uh, and I don't care. Okay, fair. I don't want them to know. But you cried? Yeah. What was your hard story? I didn't tell one. Good. Yeah, never. It was just like one of those times where it's like, all right, everyone get up and try to make each other cry if you have a story. Mm. One of them, there was a kid, I was just like, shut the fuck up, dude. No one cares. Like, you're up here for yourself. And then this one kid, he he got everyone in the room, tear-jerking them. Pulling on the hard strings. Mm. This is boring. My life's boring. I don't no, want to no, talk about that, my life. That was good. Um, my friends went. I I went. I switched out of Catholic school. And went to public middle school in eighth grade. So I didn't go on the retreat. But they had their you know last year eighth grade retreat. Retreat and it was at this dude. So you quit on yourself. Yeah, I did. Um, Why'd you switch? Because I, I it was time to go. Was, was it time. too hard for you? Yeah, it was too close to God, dude. No, like, no, no, no. The work, it was too hard for you. No, it was actually easier than public school. Um, they didn't, there was, everyone there was dumb. Hey, we're taking a quick break from the podcast to talk to you more about dad grass. Will, have you ever been too high? Nope. I've been too high, and I'm, I'm too high oftentimes I smoke. But with dad grass, they're bringing it back more of a casual feel, just a really relaxed session when you're smoking. None of that panic or anxiety. And if you're not into smoking, you know, they have other things. They got tinctures. They got other stuff you could do, non-smokables. It's really great stuff. Well, that's um, why I love it. I'm too scared to get high and face God. Yeah. Well, with dad grass, 
puts me at a nice level. And what's even better is, is that all dad grass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over. Mm-hmm. How cool is that? You're doing it. You're legal. I you're met God out. and he is angry and he is scary and he is unforgiving. And you know what's even cooler is that it ships right to your door. Correct. How great is that? Oh, it's incredible. It's amazing. Whether you're looking for a new how, buzz or a How are they making way, money on it? I don't know. Just, you know, it's Dadgrass will leave you in the, the most euphoric mood there is. And honestly, I use it. I like it. I like it in the morning. I like it after lunch. I like it at night. There's It's an all-day thing if you want it to be. You can do it any time of the day. It's great. And right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off on their first order if you go to dadgrass.com slash slash almost Friday. That's dadgrass.com slash almost Friday. 20% off. 20% off on your first order. That's dadgrass.com slash almost Friday. Now let's get back into the podcast. Emily, what's up? How's your dating life? My dating life is not really existent right now. Good. <laughs> you don't need no man. <laughs> yeah. You don't need no man. Liam's like, good. You're only going to get murdered. That's. Yeah. Also, yeah. I don't like the idea of you being distracted at work. Um, I don't like the idea of this podcast suffering from your fucking happiness. Yeah. So. If you date enough men, if you go on enough dates with men, one of them's going to kill you with like a tire iron in the woods or something. I do think that, Emily, I do. I could see you. I've gotten pretty close to that point before. Well, you do seem like we're not we're not going to unpack that because we're at the 44 minute mark. No, wait, let's unpack it real quick. <laughs> Oh my god, I have so such good stories I can Holy tell you. Holy shit, next time. I am gonna fucking shoot down planes that come over this office yeah. again. Wait, I swear to God. You were almost murdered by a man you went on a date with him. Please give us the, the Yeah, story. I actually do want to hear about that. No, I, not actually. I have a couple like of crazy sites. Tell us one of them. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um oh, oh, okay. Here's a good one. So when I was in college, there was you know how like there's sorority and fraternity group chats? I there was one where um, there was one day where in the sorority and fraternity group chats there was this message going around that um, some guy was it, walking around campus with like a red backpack and like just to be careful and be care uh, be on the lookout for him because he's not supposed to be on campus and people thought he had like a gun in his um, in his bag and everyone was just like be careful and so that was weird I never saw him but one night I was out. And it was like... I thought that was about to be the whole story. <laughs> I was about no. to lose my <laughs> mind. No, one night was. I was out and uh, I was like super drunk and I was waiting for my friends to meet me at this bar after a sorority event. My friends weren't in the sorority. And so I was waiting there and as I'm sitting there outside, some guy comes up to me and he's like making conversation and I'm like, oh, you don't have to sit here and wait with me. Like, I'm good. He's like, no, like... I actually want to get to know you, blah, blah, blah. And I kind of realized, like, oh, he's kind of cute. Well, let me talk to him. Um, and that was really nice of him. <laughs> Fuck you. And so we're talking, and <laughs> I don't know I don't know if my friends – I think my phone died, and that's what happened. And I couldn't find my friends, and um, we just got to know each other. And I never do this, but I was so drunk. And he was like, so do you want to, like, come over? And so he like Ubered us home, which was already kind of weird because like it was everything, everyone normally lived in walking distance. And so we get back to his and I just like, we were talking and he kind of like mentioned at one point how he got suspended at one point from school. And I was like, oh, like what happened? And he goes, oh, I was, um, I was sitting in one of my friend's classes and I, um, yeah, I was just uh, drawing a picture and, um, you know, I was sitting in one of his classes because his mom died and I was just trying to, you know, like be there for him. And and the teacher kept asking me why I was there. And I was like, I didn't really want to say it in front of the class. So I was just like being rude and not really answering. And like, I don't know. Yeah. So she kicked me out of the class and then I got like suspended and I go, well, did you by a chance have a red backpack? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, how'd you know that? And it turns out he was the guy that, like, everyone was scared of. And um, so I just got out of there as quickly as You got out of there as quickly as you could after you had sex with him because you're a slut. No, I I did not have sex with him. Thank God I did not have sex with him. Oh, my God. I would have been so upset. And then, oh, my God, 
I never heard from him again. And then I was telling my friend the story and she's like, oh my God, why don't we try to call him? So I tried to call him and it was like, this Google number is a fake number that we've reached. Oh, oh God, it was that's so actually, fucking creepy. Yeah, dude, he was going to cut you up into Thank little pieces. God, and, I got out of there. Yeah. Holy um, shit. Can you look him up and see what, it, what penitentiary he is? Oh, I have his name and in. I looked... I, I looked at him up afterwards. He's not on any social. I think he gave me a fake name. Maybe. Never saw him again. Never heard from him again. Never like, I c- couldn't find him anywhere. He's going to cut you. I'm sorry for calling you a slut. I'm just having a good time. Just joshing around. You know, <laughs> it's fine. Um, I'm not like crying or anything. Uh, but yeah, he was going to cut you up and, you know, just probably like, what, what do you think he was going to do with her dead body? Probably uh, scatter it around the campus. Guys, and every time let's not go there. We have to figure I out. I was talking, Emily. Yeah, what? What do you think that that guy would have done with Emily's dead body? Emily, if you start crying, can you mute your mic, please? Mm Because it's really distracting for Lou and I. Yeah, no, of course. Oh, my God. Just mute it. Sorry, go ahead. ahead. I I don't even remember what we were talking about. Yeah, I'm just, what you know, what that guy would have done with uh, Emily's dead body. I don't know. Probably thrown it in the trash where it belongs. Yeah, it's it's an option. He probably would have stomped it through a storm drain. And saved everyone in her family a lot of time. I would have, uh, I w- what's it called? When they fucking, they stuff the dogs after they die. Taxidermy. Taxidermy to her. Uh, taxidermied or taxidermied? He would have taxidermied her corpse. Uh, yeah, he would have done that to you. And then, like, for different holidays, he, like, he would have dressed you up like a scarecrow, put a bowl out for Halloween. Thanksgiving, uh, would have been a pilgrim type mm-hmm. of thing. Christmas, you know, you're, you know. I would imagine who. every night he would take her taxidermied corpse and he would put on a record his mother would always listen to that, and she would beat him. She would beat the hell out of him as a boy. She'd put a wig on him and make him do sex acts for her yeah. friends. They'd come over. Whip him, uh, spit on him. She'd get him drunk. He was 12. And he'd put that same record on that she loved and made her feel like she was happy, you know, made her feel like she was something. <laughs> Emily, meet your mic. Made her feel like she, Emily, meet your mic. Made her feel like she was she was finally going to be somebody and get out of this town and leave it all behind. He'd put that record on and he'd dance the night away under the moonlight with Emily's taxidermied corpse. She's fucking eating. What is she eating? Well, she's eating a sandwich. She's eating a peanut butter. What, and jelly what kind of bread? Emily? Whole wheat. No! No, not whole wheat, whole grain. Okay. We talked about this, Emily. <gasps> Emily, I'm going to hit you in the teeth mm-hmm. right after this is over. Mm-hmm. Please, I kind of want veneers. <laughs> <laughs> you can just get them. Yeah, you can just get them. I, have to wait I don't think end. my teeth are fucked up enough to get them. Like, I think they're fine. They are. And I, I worked okay. really hard. I spent long years straightening can I teeth. Su- can I suggest something? No. I feel like veneers is like jarring. If I see someone with veneers, I go, you have veneers and you have little tiny teeth inside those fake fucking teeth. So if you get veneers, I would go like 90% white. That's and, exactly and, why I don't want veneers. Because it's like I hate the fact that they're shaving down You just down said your... you want veneers. I know, but that's why I'm not getting them. You gaslighting, fucking... lying bitch. I'm just going to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on this podcast too because I guess that's what we do now. Well, yeah. you told me to mute my mic, so I was like, might as well. And now you're s- smacking into it. <laughs> oh, let's wrap. Did you just shit your pants? Me? Mm-hmm. No, I just was, this is like the cold chills of. That literally looked like you, the the chair has stains Can I it. do, can I, then I have it. one more character. You have to cut me looking like I should. I have one more No, character. I'm going to keep it in there. Yes, yes. Um, it's called the worst podcast producer ever to live on the planet. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> and that was the character. That was good. That was really good. That worked out. No, let's act it out real quick. All right. Yeah. Pretend you're doing a podcast. So yeah, I was sitting down at college. Oh my God. I have, I have a story. Uh, um, oh, sorry. That was good. Yeah. Dan, one second. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I'm going to edit that part. Hold on one. Th- sorry. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Guys, as you all know, we've partnered up with BetMGM this season. We're taking all their lines. That's what we're doing all season. It's been pretty pretty great so far, right, Will? I'm, hey, I'm winning a lot of money on the Cowboys this year, let me tell you. And if you, if you haven't signed up yet for BetMGM, use bonus code BEERS, and you'll get up to a $1,000 risk-free bet on your first wager with BetMGM. Here's how it works. It's pretty simple. One, you got to download the BetMGM app and sign up mm-hmm. using bonus code BEERS. That's pretty easy, right? Uh, it's, it sounds pretty easy to me. Two, 
place your first bet any game. Three, if your bet loses, you'll get up to $1,000 in free bets. That's insane. Quick disclaimer, though. you got to be 21 plus years of age or older to do this. And obviously, you got to do it in a state where betting is legal. Um, so just have fun. We've been having fun with it the entire season. It's been a lot of great times, a lot of good stuff. Hey, if you if you please gamble responsibly, that's all we ask. You know, be responsible about it. And don't forget, if you haven't signed up for BetMGM yet, use bonus code BEERS, and you'll get up to a $1,000 risk-free bet on your first wager. That is, that's something else. That's an insane deal. Let's hop back into the episode. Um, what? Who are you calling? I don't know. I just got a call from this number. Is this a bad time, Emily? A terrible When you're finished time. with your fucking sandwich. I'll I actually, it's finished. Hi, I got a call from this number. Hello, I got a call from this number. Put it on speaker. Uh, no. Yeah, I did. Oh, uh, you did? Yeah. Um, who this? Sorry? Who is? Who is this? Yeah. Well, you called me. Uh, Francis Footwork. I feel like a number. No, this is, this is Francis Footwork. Mm. Are you calling about your appointment? That guy's going to kill you. Is that someone we know? No, that was someone that was Castaneda Kasim from Gr- I'm going to call him back. Get him on the horn. We're putting this in. Your call has been forwarded. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded. Again. Ah. Uh. Put this in the ad. Hello? Hi, is this Castaneda Kasim? Hi, am I speaking with Castaneda Kasim? All right. Uh, Cunt. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message right. system. Two, one, four, eight, zero. Hold on, nine, please stop. Five, I have to go out room. Zero, five is not available. At right. the tone, please no, record please your stop. message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or leave. press one for more options. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Run. Run. I'm going to kill you. That's a voicemail that guy's going to receive. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, guys, thanks for joining. Hey, thanks for coming and hanging out with us, man. That's what it was fucking. Come next week. We'll be more prepared. We'll be even more depressed. And one day they'll make a documentary about us. And you'll get to say, I was there before those guys did that heinous thing. Mm-hmm. And the signs were there. I saw them before anyone else did. Yep. Okay, goodbye. Later.